Hi guys, so welcome to my channel. Can't believe I'm saying that, but welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I'm so nervous about doing this, but I have wanted to do this for the longest time and I thought why not give it a go. Um, if you don't know me already, my name is Jess and I'm 22. I'm from Galway, Ireland and I do content on Instagram and TikTok at the moment. And I'm just going to do a little Q&A for my first video. Um, I got a good few questions in about kind of get to know me cues to do this Q&A. So we're going to give it a go. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a simple, easy question with where am I from? Where did I grow up? I'm from Galway, Ireland. I have grown up here in a really small village on the border between... May own go away. Um, lived here my whole life. I live in the city now for college, but I'm at home at the moment for I go back after Christmas. Um, but yeah, it's very remote. Um, right by the lake. Um, it's Guelph at there as well, which is quite cool. Um, not that I speak that much Irish anymore, but I do have a bit of Guelph. Uh, so my next question is, what am I studying in college? This is probably my most asked question by far. Um, I'm currently in my final year of biomedical science in NUIG or UG now. Um, I am specializing in physiology which is basically mechanisms and functions of how the body works which is very interesting it's definitely quite tough at times and i have questions sometimes if it's for me but i've kind of come into a bit more this year which is great um just have one semester left which is mad but yeah nearly there okay so when and why did you start doing content so i started doing content in April of 2020 I think it was for Instagram I started with sharing my outfit pictures doing little stories Q&A's vision boards polls all that kind of stuff and then just expanded from there and then I started TikTok in I think April or March of 2021 properly I kind of dabbled with it a little bit before then um, but I started properly about I suppose it's nearly two years ago now which is mad I love doing it um it's something I've always wanted to do but I was so scared about putting myself out there for so long especially because I guess naturally I'm quite a quiet and shy person so I felt like putting myself out there online would be out of character for me but in a way I love it and it just feels right for me so I've really been enjoying doing it so far um, I definitely use TikTok a lot more than Instagram at the moment. Um, I do a lot of vlogs, um, self-care, outfits, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, absolutely. So the next question I got is, did you repeat everything or just maths in your leave insert? So if you haven't heard me speak about it before, I repeated my leave insert in 2019, I think 2018, 2019. I was actually a month into a college course in Galway before I decided to go back. Um, I was just so unhappy and I felt like I didn't get what I wanted out of the leave insert so I decided to go back and give it another go because I really wanted to do medicine and I really wanted to see could I do better um, so yeah I went back did all my subjects again it definitely was probably the hardest year of my life to date <laughs> it was very hard a lot of long days um long evenings studying but it did end up paying off although i didn't get my first choice of medicine at the end i think i needed that extra year just to figure out exactly what i wanted put my head down figure out what i wanted to do with my life and although it was really hard i think it still stood to me how many years later I think I'm maybe three or four years now since I repeated um but I'm so glad I did it even just for my own personal development and just the study tips and the discipline I learned in that year helped me so much and have continued to help me through college with studying and just maximizing my own ability with getting marks and getting what I need so if anyone is thinking about repeating um it's definitely not something to be terrified of. I know it can feel like um, you're behind in life and everyone else is moving forward. I know that's what I thought when I went back, but 
it's only one year in the grand scheme of things and if you end up putting yourself in a better position than what you initially were in I think it's definitely worth it and you also know that you've left no stone unturned which was my motto going through so the year. The next question is how me and Oshin met and how we're finding long distance and um, so if you don't know already I have been going out with my boyfriend Oshin for six years and he's recently moved to Australia to play AFL which is amazing I'm so delighted and so proud of him um, we met when I changed schools, so I moved school after third year um, because I wanted to do TY and I wanted to do two science subjects which weren't offered in my local school. So I moved and that's where I met him and then we started going out when we were in fifth year. Um, so yeah, we just celebrated our sixth year anniversary which is so bizarre, I don't know where the time has gone. Um, and long distance has actually been not half as bad as I built it up to be in my head. Of course, it is hard at times. It's not ideal him being 24 hours away on a plane, but um, I think communication and trust is key in all of this and just reminding ourselves that it's only temporary. It's only gonna be for a couple of months. So in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much of time, but it's actually not too bad, I think. I had made it out to be in my own head so much worse than what it actually is and um, of course there are hard days and the goodbyes are very hard I'm not gonna lie they are definitely horrific and the first couple of days after he went were very tough I did really find it difficult but coming through the better end of it now and I'm just using it as an opportunity for me to focus on myself in my spare time now while he's away and hopefully get out there in May or June when I finish my exams. So next question is what are my favorite makeup products? So I actually did a fresh face of makeup before filming this video. Um, but my go-to's for my base definitely would be the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation or the Longwear Radiant Foundation. Absolutely love them. I always go back to them. I actually only started using the Light Reflecting Foundation maybe in the last like six to nine months, but I have repurchased. I absolutely love it. And the bottle lasts so long as well. Like a little bit definitely does go a long way. And um, for brows, I always use the Refi Brow Sculpt. Absolutely love it. Like I have very thick brow hair. Um, and it definitely does keep them in place for me. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Wands, swear by them. I've also recently been using the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick and I love it, I really like it. I find sometimes when I use contour sticks, even when I put them on the brush and as opposed to putting them straight onto my face, they just end up like caking or I end up having like patches around my like where I've contoured but I find with the Fenty Beauty that doesn't happen which is great. Um, lip combos I always use, I think I actually have them here, I always use these Penny's lip liners, they're like a Charlotte Tilbury dupe and I love them, they're like 2 euro I think, 150 and this is supposed to be clear but obviously mixes up my lip liner, it's the Essence um, Extreme Shine Lip Gloss, love this so good can't go wrong with a good clear gloss and one of my friends told me to get the one with glitter in it so that when the gloss rubs off you still have a bit of a shine because glitter is refracting which so is I'm so going good. to leave it at that for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video please stay tuned for more and subscribe if you enjoy this i am hoping to get a vlog up soon and get more into that kind of content once I get used to filming and bringing the camera around with me. But yeah, see you soon.